Welcome to the video, how to grow a million dollar business without sacrificing your lifestyle in the process. In this video, I'm gonna start by laying out some of the reasons that people don't get to a million dollars, some of the biggest drawbacks, challenges, obstacles that get in the way the absolute number one most important solution to that, and then how to execute on that solution. Let's go. So there are a few things that really get in the way of creating a million dollar business. And before I even get into what those are, I first wanna check in with you. Why do you wanna have a million dollar business? Now that might seem like a weird question. You might think, well, everybody wants that, don't they? Well, the truth is most of the time when everybody wants something, that's because it's coming from a place that's not really aligned from a really deep, deep place. Meaning, a lot of times people wanna have a million dollar business just because they wanna have the ego trip of being able to say that they have a million dollar business. So I invite you to consider, why do you want a million dollar business? What about that appeals to you? Is it being able to tell people you have a million dollar business? Is it because you want to have a lifestyle that's very abundant with a lot of prosperity? Is it because you wanna give things to your family or you wanna buy things for your mother, buy an apartment for her, go on vacation? Like what are the reasons why you wanna have a million dollar business? No matter what, this is gonna support you and serve you because it's gonna build desire around that goal around the outcome of making a million dollar business. When it comes just from ego, and that's the primary or only reason that you're doing it, a lot of times that's not a very sustainable energy for the long haul because the truth is, in my experience, building a million dollar business generally has a lot of roadblocks and obstacles along the way. I don't wanna project upon you the same hardships and struggles that I faced, but I will say that I've helped a lot of different clients grow their business and it takes something to stick with it, to work through the obstacles, to face the challenges and overcome them and expand and grow. And in order to do that, in my opinion, you're gonna need more than just an ego desire. There needs to be something deeper. So before we even get started, I invite you to connect to why you want a million dollar business. What would, what would that do for you in your life and especially what would it do for the people around you? Now let's talk about why a lot of people don't get there even though they want to. One of the biggest, especially in the coaching industry, is that we get into the trap of time for money. Selling our services, selling our efforts and our hours to generate outcomes. When we do that, we ultimately can't usually grow or scale very big and we often burn out before we can get to that million dollar level. What I've discovered, and this is just in my own personal experience, kind of a little rule of thumb, is that if you're selling yourself, your expertise, your time, your experience, your advice, generally speaking, to do that, you can pretty much grow fairly easily to about 100,000, 150,000 in revenues. Then that next level to hit, is about 300,000 and to get there, you usually have to hire somebody, hire some support in the business. Not always, I know a few people that have a million dollar business and they're on their own, but for the most part, you start having to become a manager. You start having to manage somebody else's time and efforts and attention and results. And that's when a lot of times the business can break down. So there's an element of understanding where you are and what, what you need to get to that next level. And I'll talk about that a little bit more later. And then another problem that people face that I wanna address right up front is this belief that hitting a million dollars is gonna be this magic bullet that's gonna fix everything. Like once I get to a million dollars, then I'll be abundant, then I'll have enough, then things will be okay, then I'll take care of myself, then I'll go on vacation. And what I found is that rarely happens. When you look at that million dollar mark as this kind of magic thing that once you get there, everything's magically gonna be okay, then that's very disempowering because basically what you're saying is, I can't be okay right now. And one of the best ways to get to a million dollars is to start to be really present and empowered and grateful for where you are right now in this moment. Okay, so now that I've told you all of that mindset stuff, gotten that out of the way, let's dive into the actual steps 
to build a million dollar business. And before I get into the seven steps to build your million dollar business, I'd love to ask you to comment below why do you want a million dollar business? What is the big why behind that, beneath that, that's driving you to have a million dollar business? Let me know. So to build a sustainable, scalable million dollar business, I've developed the seven step model. This is the seven steps that I took to get to a million dollar business, but I did these steps out of order and because of that, it took me a whole lot longer than if I'd known the steps and applied them in order. So you are the lucky beneficiary of my challenges and struggles over many, many years, all right? And by the way, before I get into the first piece, I do wanna give you this little caveat. I'm not just talking about any million dollar business. I'm talking about one that you love, one that's joyful, that's energy rich, that's lifestyle friendly, that's aligned with who you really are and what you really love to do. Honestly, you can do a million dollar business and you can sacrifice yourself in the process, but that is not what this video is about. This is about how to do it in a way that you enjoy and love, okay? So step one is looking at your identity. This is also what I call Inner alignment. Looking inward at the identity, you're asking the question, who am I? What matters to me? What do I value? What am I great at? What am I not so great at? What do I love to do? What do I hate to do? And really building the business from first, understanding who you are and why you're here on this planet. I like to use the analogy, or not the analogy, I like to use the image of a star. And in the center of the star is who are you really, right? What are you all about? What do you love? What do you hate? All that stuff. At the top of the star, reaching up to the heavens is your purpose or what I call also the North Star. Down here, the two legs of the star, one leg is your self-care and one leg is your values. These are what ground you into the world. And then in one here is this, the arm here of this, this left arm here is the past. These are all your beliefs and your stories. And this is your future. This is your vision. So step one of a million dollar business is to have this star really clear. You know who you are, why you're here, what you're all about, taking care of yourself, building around, creating good choices in your, you know, sleeping and eating and self-care and all that good stuff, your health, your well-being, and over here, your values, aligning to what matters to you and not compromising things like family, if that's important to you. And then the two arms, one reaching into the past, your stories and your, and your beliefs about the world, and one reaching into the future. Once you have that all aligned, then we can start to look at the second part of building a million dollar business, which is what's the lifestyle that you want to lead. And lifestyle, I look at lifestyle as a combination of two things, time and money. How do you want to spend your time and what kind of money do you need to make to fund the lifestyle that you want to have? Do you want to travel? Do you not want to travel? Do you want to be home every afternoon at 3 p.m. so you can greet your kids coming home from school? What does that lifestyle look like so that we can build the business around that? The third step is what's the model? The model is how you turn your magic into money. And I touched on this a little bit earlier when I said time for money. If you're exchanging time for money, the model is a time for money model, and usually you're gonna hit an upper limit pretty quickly. So what's a way that you can leverage your time and turn it into money in a way that's scalable and sustainable? One of the biggest parts of a great business model, in my opinion, just FYI, is does it generate monthly recurring revenues? Monthly recurring revenues that come in automatically on the first of the month or the 15th of the month that you can count on so that you're not building from scratch every single month. The fourth thing to look at to build a million dollar business is the brand. The brand is what I also call, I like to use the metaphor of your butterfly garden. It's the thing that attracts people to you. It's the website, the language you use, your colors, your imagery, your mission statement, your positioning, who you target, who you work with best, what's your promise, your value proposition. 
All of this is part of your brand, which is your identity out in the world for the public to consume. If you have a really solid brand, you need to continuously put it out into the world, and that's what we call marketing. Marketing is the consistent attracting of new business by putting your brand assets out into the world. So your marketing could be broadcasting, publishing, speaking, referrals, networking, all the different ways that you get the brand out there on a regular basis so that you can attract in new clients. A million dollar business needs clients. And not only do they need to attract clients, they need to retain clients, which we'll talk about in a moment. Number six, and this is the one that people have the most mindset issues with, generally speaking, sales. You could do all of these things amazingly well, but if you are not converting all of that energy and effort into sales, then you're not gonna have a million dollar business. And one of the biggest problems that I see is people undercharging for what they offer, undercharging for products and services, or overcharging also, but that happens a lot less likely, but undercharging for their pro products and services or dropping their price because they think that's gonna make sales easier. My advice to you is instead of dropping your price to make sales easier, elevate your brand and your brand value proposition so that you can attract higher quality clients. And then finally, and this is related to retention, which I said we were gonna talk about, your delivery. And this is certainly not the least important item. It's number seven, really because it, it incorporates almost everything else here, which is the delivery. How do you deliver everything? How do you deliver your services? It's the operations of delivering on that promise that you're making to people. It's the operations, your systems, your processes. It's things that making things scalable so that you can grow. One of the biggest challenges in, that gets in the way of creating a million dollar business is having to reinvent the wheel all the time. So once you get to a point where you have a really great value proposition, you're attracting clients and you're making sales, you wanna figure out a way that you can rinse repeat this. Rinse repeat the marketing and sales, rinse repeat, and put that even if possible on autopilot so that you're leveraging time and creating efficiencies by having systems and processes. So this is the basic strategy for creating a million dollar business. And what I would invite you to do is take a look here and see the lowest, the, the earliest place on here that you're having challenges. If you're focused over here, but you have this that's not clear, this is where you need to focus your attention. Something that I see is people getting very stuck, saying, oh, I need more leads, I need to sell more, right? And then when I start to dig in, I see, wow, they're completely out of alignment with what they love to do most. They're completely out of alignment with the lifestyle that they want to lead, and they're resentful of the time they're spending on the business, or their brand doesn't represent their North Star. You want to look at the earliest part of the model where you're out of alignment and go there first. If this resonates with you, if you are looking to grow a million dollar business and you can see that this process that I just walked you through would be helpful, let's connect. I invite you to schedule a free discovery call with me to discover if and how my programs and services might be able to support you in growing your million dollar business. You can do that by going to superstaractivator.com slash go or just click on the link below in the notes.